Hey everyone, welcome back to another video session by Simply Learn. In this tutorial, we will be learning about Kotlin Jetpack Compose. The Jetpack Compose is an Android toolkit, but its mechanism is also used for web applications. So let's go ahead and understand what we will be covering in this topic. So we will start with what is Kotlin Jetpack Compose, then we will understand why Jetpack Compose or why we use Jetpack Compose. After that, we will learn how does Compose function work. Following this topic, we will understand composable function, layouts, material design, list and animations. Now, before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. So without further ado, let's get started. So what is Kotlin Jetpack Compose? The Jetpack Compose is a modern user interface development toolkit. It makes the app development process easy and speeds it up. Because of the Jetpack Compose, you can write less code as compared to the current view building approach, which also leads to less potential bugs. It's changed the way developers create user interface, making it easier and faster to write and more performant to run. Before the Jetpack Compose, XML layouts were used to make native user interface. The Jetpack Compose is much better, advanced and easier than XML. With the help of Jetpack Compose, we can make a more declarative user interface with less code. So, as we have understood the Kotlin Jetpack Compose, so now let's have a look at why we need or use the Jetpack Compose. So why Jetpack Compose? The Jetpack Compose is used because it has huge benefits over the previous user interface building system. First, it accelerates the development. There are various features in Compose that helps in doing the task faster. For example, previews. By making multiple previews, we can save a lot of time that we earlier wasted in checking the user interface component in different states. But with the help of multiple previews, we can easily do that. Also, the Compose is compatible with existing code. Many libraries like Kotlin coroutines, ViewModel, etc. work just fine with Compose. Second is independent. The library of Compose is not integrated with any operating system, which means it is easy to add the new features to the user interface without changing the operating system. Now next is intuitive. In Compose, the APIs that are used is intuitive and declarative. Intuitive means easy to understand and declarative means all we need to do is to describe the user interface and the rest will be taken care of by Compose. The components that are made with the Compose are not confined to a specific activity, which makes the component easy to reuse. Fourth is powerful and feature loaded. Compose is a powerful and feature loaded that helps in making the app attractive and user friendly. You can make the app as you desired with these animations, which are quite easy to implement. Compose has the support for dark theme, material design, animations etc which makes things very easy for the development. Now how does compose work? The word compose came from composite which means the collection of objects. The compose jetpack works on a composite design pattern. This pattern is used while dealing with hierarchical data like parent-child relationship. So in compose Every view can contain one or more child views within it. And the child views can further have sub child views, unlike previous approaches where we cannot introduce additional functionalities in a view. Now, as we have understood about this topic, now we will move on to the next topic, which is composable function. A composable function is just like any other normal function of Kotlin. But the only difference is 
it is annotated by the composable sign it helps in transforming the data to the user interface hierarchy all the functions with composable sign indicate that this function is the compose function and the sign tells the compose compiler that this function is intended to convert data into user interface and they can only be called from other composable functions the composable function doesn't return any values like the kotlin function but instead emit user interface elements to the compose runtime system for rendering as we can see in this example composable annotation is used to make the function message a composable function the element text is also a composable function which comes from compose library with the preview annotation as we can see we are able to see how our ui that is user interface is going to look like the preview are often written with composable annotation and multiple previews can be added to the composable function having different parameters now the output of this example would be hello rahul so now moving on to the next topic which is layout so layout allows us to arrange the components in such a way so that they don't overlap each other it basically arranges the components in a proper manner otherwise they got stacked over each other it is one of the most important component that helps in creating user interface it helps in alignment and arrangement purposes for the user interface layout is a compose function which allows us to arrange elements in a row column and box so let's understand here we can see in this example there is a row keyword which means these three words hello there mate that are written inside the row function will be arranged horizontally the row function allows us to arrange the elements in a horizontal manner so hello there and mate will be arranged horizontally similarly the column function lets you arrange the elements in a vertical manner so in this case that is in the case of column function hello there mate will be arranged vertically so this was the example of layout now moving on to the next topic which is box in box layout the children are stacked over each other by default so we have to align them to put them in different positions or proper positions we use the align modifier to set the position or alignment for children elements as we can see in this example we have used align modifier and we can also see there is alignment dot top center and alignment dot bottom center these are the alignment options that are applied to the child user interface there are total 9 alignment options let's have a look at them first three are alignment dot top start alignment dot top end alignment dot top center here alignment dot top start will align the user interface to the top left corner top end will align at the top right corner and top center will align at top center position next three are alignment dot center start alignment dot center end and alignment dot center here center start will align the user interface to the mid left corner center end will align at mid right corner and center will be aligned at the mid center position in between center start and center end next three are alignment dot bottom start alignment dot bottom end and alignment dot bottom center here bottom start will align the user interface to the bottom left corner bottom end will align at the bottom right corner and bottom center will be aligned at the bottom center position that is in between bottom start and bottom end so these were the nine possible alignments now coming to material design as the name suggest it helps to improve the appearance using the material design styling 
there are three pillars of material design which are color typography shape first is color by using values from wrapped theme you can easily color wherever it is needed inside the compose graphic package there is a color class which is used by jetpack compose to define material design color system color class is used there are 13 attributes that can be used and those are primary primary variant secondary secondary variant background surface error on primary on secondary on background on surface on error and is light each of them having different means and is used to color wherever it is needed then there is typography in the material theme there are material typography styles which are used to style or define a type system with the help of typograph class we can customize font style font weight font family letter spacing text decoration and many more attributes third is shape material design allows us to define shape for small medium and large components as well just like typography we can easily create shapes now coming to next topic which is list and animations the list and animations are one of the most important thing for building an app we have already discussed row and column earlier here we will discuss about lazy composables lazy composables include lazy row and lazy column the lazy row makes a horizontal scrolling list and the lazy column makes the vertical scrolling list in this example lazy column is used as we can see here lazy columns is used that is vertical scrolling list and this is how we add elements or items here we are adding a single item and here we are adding multiple items with items there is an integer 7 which means seven items can be added now just like list animations are also very important for a smooth and attractive user experience there are various apis that can give you control and help with the animation they are animation visibility it is used if you are animating appearance and disappearance then there is animation it is used if you want to have fine control over animation time then there is crossfade it is used to switch between composables with a crossfade animation then there is remember infinite transition if the animation is state based and happens during composition and is infinite then this is used next is update transition it is used if you are animating multiple values simultaneously so these were some apis that can give you control over the animations and with that we have done with the jetpack compose topic in this tutorial we understood what is kotlin jetpack compose why jetpack compose how does the compose work composable function layouts material design list and animations if you have any doubts you can put them in the comment section and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i hope it really help you all thanks for watching stay safe and keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here